Greetings and welcome back to City Skylines. I will be your mayor today, David, and today is a special day. Not only as we can see, it's the seventh birthday of City Skylines, happy birthday City Skylines, but it is also challenge time again. Today's challenge is the freeze challenge, or the pause challenge. I'm not quite sure what it's called or who came up with it. If you do know, comment and let me know, we can give them the credit that they deserve for it. But it sounds like a pretty simple challenge. The rules are, one, all use the same map, I believe it's Diamond Coast. Um, two, no mods are allowed except unlimited money and um, unlock all. Three, as soon as you map load, you pause the game. I mean, it's lucky if it starts pause, but everything must be built while the game is paused. But, um, four, as soon as you unpause, no more building, no more changing anything. And five, you have one square to use. And six, I suppose, make the biggest city possible. So um, that's that's the rules, that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, there it is, Diamond Coast. And we will name this... Um, Frozen Topia. Fro Freeze Topia. Uh, Freezeton. Free... Freezeton. I mean, we went to a few names, it's not a big one, but Freeston will be the name of our town. Let's get this going. Okay, here we are at the map now. Congratulations, maximum level. Of course, all unlocked. Forgot that came up. Hello, yeah, you can go to. So, this is the um, the map that we have. This is our square. It all looks nice and flat. A little bit of a coastline here. It's my first time looking at it, so it looks like... Way, hang on a second. What do we have up here? What is... Whoa! That looks a bit rude. I'll have to um, sort that out in a second. There we go, that's moving out. Anyway, yep, this is our map. And we will uh, we'll get started. I'll be back in a minute once I have the roads in. Boop! So, um, there we go, it's added in a quick bit of roads. Uh, not, not much else at this point. I've had a, I've put in a bit of a monorail system because I'm hoping, well, I'm planning on adding in a couple of monorail networks. So I have a loop around each side and then have a bit of a terminus going through the middle. And then underneath here, if we get down to underground view. Right, and the wrong way down, isn't it? Oh, I've added a motor just underground through the centre with a couple of different entrances to try and boost. So to try and alleviate any any issues with traffic and then over here um, I've probably made a few issues myself in the future because I jiggled around with this land and put a nice uh, uh, key wall in which probably means we're going to end up with lots of flooding in this area but I thought we could add in a cruise terminal and a um, freight terminal so we could have people coming in and out and goods coming in and out over this side I thought we'd try and drop in a um, a waste transfer facility and a nuclear power station so at least then we would be generating plenty of electricity for everything so that should be something I don't need to worry about and then in these zones here I thought to do sort of like a stripe of stripes of different things that would have along the monorail where it's noisy commercial then you have a strip of offices and then we go into the residential so it'd be like a Neapolitan ice cream sort of effect of zoning for those who don't know Neapolitan ice cream is an ice cream we have in the UK which is strawberry vanilla chocolate so it won't be any any of the colours of the Neapolitan ice cream but it'd be that sort of stripe effect anyway I'm gonna now go around and drop in some services I will speed through this so hopefully we can have a nice little um, quick um, quick playthrough all right I'll get started with that So the key wall's too high, so that needs to get lowered. We'll get on to do that now.
Okay, it took a bit longer than expected, but we now have both ports in. It seems weird that I can't build on this bit, but I think it's all paused, it's not recognising it as new land yet. Let's think about getting some water in. I'm going to put lots in just to be on the safe side. Just now I need to work out connecting this up. Yeah, if you hadn't realised, I hadn't thought about where the wastewater was going in. I'm sort of tempted to, um, yeah, I'm sort of tempted to get rid of these and pop in just these, these outlets and then just have water towers just crammed into the centre of one of these roundabouts. And then everyone's approach to the city will be through the River of Poo. Okay, that's a bit grim, that approach, but we'll deal with it. Now, somewhere there should be the water purification doodads. Here we are. This might just help a little bit, but only a little bit. Okay, so we're starting getting everything in there. One thing I did forget that we should have done is that as this is a birthday celebration, Chirper should have his birthday hat on. There we go. Now, now we can go back and continue ignoring you, Chirper. Okay, so I was going to put water towers into this hat one here now that we've got all the waste outlets down here. But it's a bit close to these two, so I'm going to chuck them in up over here couple of, well, some large water towers. Okay, hopefully that should be just about enough water for a one square city. Actually, it should be more than enough. That's that one done now. And next thing is, I'm going to start, drop, start finishing in these monorail networking. So I'll be back in a little bit once I have some monorail stations in. Okay, we have monorail stops placed in all around on the monorail track. I've dubbed them up one on either side here where they're going to come through and so passengers can easily just switch over, got pedestrian crossing. And then you just do a loop on each one going each way. Okay, that's some monorail sorted. We'll just quickly rename them. So, monorail one will be West Side Circular Out Outer. I'm going to change it to a blue colour because I like blue for monorails. We've only got the one monorail train type, and we will that up to six vehicles. Yeah, we're going, for, we're going for seven on each on each line. So then this will be the line two. Will be I don't know, green monorails this side. So this is east side circular inner. Okay, monorails sorted. I should hopefully cover off our public transport needs. 
what I'm going to go do now is start putting in some of these zones. Okay, we've got to start now on our zone. I guess you can see now what I mean, sort of like by this trip, so like the commercial offices, residential and stuff. And that was time I think to add in some services. So we'll be back when that's all done. Okay, service wise, I think we're now getting there. Just put these gaps through the middle to start putting in, probably a few more parks. Put a nice put an airport in down so we can have another way in. I'm going to add in a park into this area, but I'm going to finish off outlining it with commercial. So that'll all go in commercial. And then we've put a little city park in here. Oh, we haven't got the line tool. That's going to be a pain. So much though. I haven't even got anything to do. Yeah, that'll just leave it like that. So we now have a park. I would zone in. To an IT cluster down here. Put in self-sufficient buildings, both of those, why not? Oh, what else I want to put in? I want to put in an international, an intercity bus, bus station. Okay, so I've put in a bit more offices down here in our IT cluster. What I am thinking I might try to do now is add in some of these uh, monuments, which give us sort of special abilities to go along with it. So we've got here the Eden Project, which will already do the Cathedral of Plentitude, and then I get the Eden Project, which will help sort out pollution, which will be quite handy with the amount of pollution that this is going to be kicking out. Then we've got a space elevator, which sounds a pretty cool way to get tourists in. We need an expo centre for that. And I thought maybe we will try and get in with it the castle of Lord Chirpwick. It's his birthday after all, we can give him a castle. And while there's no money, choose let's go for it. So we just need city arch for that. And also, while it's his birthday, and we remember, let's get his special birthday park in. There it is. Chirpa balloon tours. So I thought we'd put a couple of these in. Up here, let's see what size it Ooh. fits in nicely there. We'll put one there and we'll have a nice symmetricality with another one over here. And now in this section here we'll try and get those monuments in. So I'll just quickly drop them in and we'll come back in a moment, see how we're getting on. So it appears every time that you open the game, 
the building requirements for these buildings change. So I had saved it, disappeared off, and had some dinner and come back. And to get the um, space elevator, it was the expo centre, but now I need to put, construct a grand mall. And for this, an official, the um, official park. So, I mean, they look nice there. We'll leave them in. We'll just have a nice, we'll just make this area really, really dense in these unique buildings. Or maybe I have to put lots of these things in. I don't know. Well, I'm going to keep dropping things in until until I can get them until I can get them built. Oh, I run out of space. Either way, so let's try and get at this space elevator. So we need an official park. Pop that in there and get rid of that. Pop. Don't need both of them there. Now what do I need? Services offices. Okay, we have an Eden project. So we've got the Eden project, now we'll go for the Grand Mall. And we'll get the space elevator in. There we go, come on Grand Mall. I feel like they could come in nicely in the, in the um, over here, the um, leisure district. Now what do we need? An opera house. Has that got us a space elevator? No, not yet. Need a stadium. Stadium, there it is. Statue of Wealth. Just, no, still after more. A transport tower. Okay, transport tower. Sounds like something to go in next to an airport. Now I wonder if we have space for it in here. Okay. Hopefully that's now I've got it. There we go, space elevator. About time too, I was struggling with everything in that one. Okay, there's that one. And now we're looking for Lord Chetbrook's Castle. Old Market Street. Well, I wanted to put this one in because I've not used it yet in any, any of my cities. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that looks lovely. It'd be great if I had that leading off to his um, off to his castle. But I doubt that's got his castle yet. No, what's what's it now? Observation tower. An observation tower by the coast. Seems fitting. Statue of Colossus. It's a nice welcoming to the um, to the city, even if it's going to be through your own poop. Now, what do we need? Sea fortress. Difficult. Just had that one in, and space is going to be difficult for this. And Lord Chetwood's castle is available. Over here we come. Lord Chetwood's castle. That took a lot more of those buildings up than I thought it was going to. But we made it. Just fill in the rest of these gaps now. I think that's us nearly there. Oh wait, no, I just remembered. I know what we need. Waste transfer sites. Nearly forgot about these little suckers. There we go. Oh, the waste transfer facilities. Just to dot a few of these in. And then, I think that's going to be us. And we will sort out budgets. Can we do that? If I crank these right up, as money's no no object, then that should give us plenty to work with. Let's 
gonna put some trees in here. Let's make things look pretty before we get started. So I'll be back in a moment when that's all sorted. Okay, I've made it put a few trees in, making it look nice. Other thing that I just thought we need is lots of footpaths. So again, I'll just drop a few of those in. Okay, I've just done a quick save, and I think after all of that, we are ready to get this started. So let's get ourselves in a nice place for a nice view of this. Let's ooh, just put this onto full speed ahead, and off we go. The mayor is doing well and leading the city, city's new citizens. Oh, straight away you've got power issues, but I suppose until the things come in. Oh, and as I called, flooding, flooding down here. Yeah. Well, there we go, building away. And we've got all of the Chirpix balloons coming out at the moment. Okay, so the flooding receded quite quickly down from there. But yeah, it's not really coming in quick enough at the moment. We've got 300 people already in, in the city. And things are building in nicely. I'm going to see if I can find a nice little angle and we can see if we can watch some of the things build. So many, so many warnings going on. No, past, just past 500 citizens. See a few bits and pieces building in. Yeah, it looks like we've got power issues really coming in now. Oh, and our water issues. Yeah, it's not looking good. 745 people now. 748. So we are still growing. Now we now we seem to be dropping, we're down at 694. 690. 624. We're losing 130 people a week. Okay, we're now back under 500. Okay. Mighty Monroe's are here, hooray, for the first line in the city. So, uh, yep, lots of those old chapel. Okay, we're, we're down at 500 people. I think I might have made a mess, mess, made a mess of this one. Um, it appears that the power isn't jumping into my city. No, so we, we've got lots of disconnected power grids going on. And I don't think we're going to be able to recover this. No, we're at 500 people and it's not climbing anymore. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to st stop it here. I'm going to reload it for my save. But gonna... So that was a bit of a disaster on the first attempt. We got to 750, which I suppose that is the challenge over. I got to peak of 750 people. But I put in all, I put in all this work for more than 750 people. So I'm going to cheat a little bit, I suppose, and I'm going to put what I've learnt in from that first attempt into this one. So, first thing I want to do is make sure the power, all these power zones are connected up with like, parks and services. So at least we've got the, elect the electric plant, the water towers and the waste all connected up so that's those basic services connected. So I'll do that quickly and then the next thing I want to do after doing all of that is to make sure that um, um, Make, make it more desirable so more people move in quicker. So hopefully this way the um, gaps here will fill in people with um, buildings quicker. So put another park in over here.
is that's a lot more power connected up. I'm gonna leave the rest. Let's just hope that I can do the rest. So I'm gonna do come in here. Lower taxes right down. As I said earlier, money isn't an object in this as we have unlimited an unlimited budget. So that goes right down. These are all way up. Just keep cranking those. And then we do lots of policies now for the whole city. Okay, it's got a few of those in. Now hopefully, this should now work a bit better. Let's give this another go. So, full speed ahead. Okay, instantly I can see fewer warning symbols coming up. There's still going to be some, and we've still got the same flooding down here, which we'll always have. But, this is looking already more promising. But it does seem to always be going a bit better. We've just passed 929 people, so we've reached a higher population already than first time round, and we're still gaining 160 people a week. This might take a bit longer than expected. Uh, but it looks like I forgot to put water pipes in down here without that alteration. So it's been running for about five minutes now. We have a population of 1,839. There is still a few power issues around the outside, but I think they are slowly sorting themselves out. Unfortunately, this has meant that there are now quite a few abandoned buildings. Luckily, they still conduct electricity to their neighbours, so hopefully things will keep keep it coming up. Yes, this one here has not got water connection, but otherwise, I think it's coming up quite nicely. Although I had spotted one other problem that I had made, and that was I hadn't put a loop down around here, which I should have. Oh, we've got a concert going on. Yeah, let's, let's come in and watch. Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, we've got the con. But what I did notice is that these buses are turning around down here. And as a bus driver, this really upsets me when people don't think about how buses are going to operate. This should be a loop around here, but I can't put that in now. But it's been well used. Just look at that constant stream of buses just flooding in there. Wow, look at them all coming in. That's incredible. Chuffed at that. I think that's the concert over. Nope, oh, nope. Off they go again. Same song again. Monorail has been well used. Anyway, this is going to take a while to get to our maximum population. We've reached after seven minutes, 2,300, well, 2,400 now exactly. So I'm going to be back in a few minutes, and um, yeah, and I will see how things are going. Oh no! Oh, look at that! Oh, what an approach of that that reckless, reckless cruise ship. Just come back, giving it about five, five or so minutes to do. So we've had a total run time now about 15 minutes for the city. We've just passed 7,000 people. We've still got 375 people moving in plus a week. Electricity production is way well good. So is water treatment. Waste is all good. 88% on traffic flow. This is all looking pretty good, I think. And something just upgraded. <laughs> Maybe we should have changed these to um, two lanes and got rid of the traffic lights but let's zoom out and have a look at how we're getting on still an awful lot of um, spare building areas so um, 
thing is because we have to be left for a bit more of a run. And as we follow this monorail on the east side of Freeston, we have just passed 10,000 people moving in. We're still growing at a large rate. So what I think I might do is leave this monorail to its journey and come back again in another 10 minutes and see where we're at. Welcome back on board the monorail as our city now approaches 16 and a half thousand people. It's growing nicely. I've given about another 10 minutes runtime so we're currently at just over half an hour into into the build. So let's let's leave this guy now to his journey, and we will see what's coming up in our city. So it's filling up nicely. Still got lots more spaces to go. Still an awful lot of abandoned buildings, which I suppose is to be expected. But hopefully they will start replacing themselves soon. So yeah, this is us. Half an hour in, pretty much, losing 200 grand a week and a population of 16,840. That's 17,000 people. And I'm liking the skyline, it's looking good. But I think. Yet again, I'll be back in a few. I'll be back in another ten minutes, and we'll see how things are going. Okay, welcome back. It's been about an hour and forty-five minutes of runtime since I've unfolded the city. We've reached a maximum population of thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and seven so far, which is a lot more than I was expecting. I was sort of hoping for around the twenty-five thousand mark, so we've smashed that. It has filled out, but as we can see, we've got a few more symbols coming in here. They've still got the odd abandoned building, but we've got problems with garbage and sewage and stuff. So if I unpause it, we have a look, look around the city in a moment. But if we run down and through here, electricity, I absolutely smashed it with the um, nuclear power plant. Also, do you remember water treatment? We're only just, haven't got enough sewage treatment, but this is the big one, garbage. We're producing almost twice as much garbage as we can, as we can sort every week, which is why everywhere in the city at the moment is struggling with the garbage unfortunately that's not looking too bad but if you keep coming down through here healthcare is looking good death care is okay child and elder care i kind of forgot about unfortunately levels we've got a few high level areas but there's a lot sort of mid at the moment traffic 74 oh it's getting better i think because people aren't moving in now the motorway is less backed up coming in because it was backed up the whole way to this intersection back here. I had seen it down at 67% earlier. But that's not looking that's looking pretty good. Come down to public transport. Our monorails are being used loads. 3,000 people a week. And I think seven trains was the right number. They're not quite full, but they're getting getting full. So yeah, yeah, 37,400 now, so we're, we're dropping. Um Plenty of people employed, still lots of lots of jobs that go go around. So all in all, very happy with that. Yeah, we're down to seven uh, thirty seven thousand three hundred now. So what I think I'll do now is I'll put on some cinematic shots and I'll come back in a bit. Thank you.
So I enjoyed this challenge. It was good fun. It took a bit longer than I expected. I thought I could just drop it all in in about an hour and I would build it up in about 10 minutes so that it just spring up in front of my eyes. Bit naive maybe, but I was happy with the result. I got a big city in the end. Well, 37,807 is not to be sniffed at for um, not having any tweaks to go with the city. So here's just one final overview of the city. Give it a go if you want to. And one other shot I'll give you. This is of all the chirper balloons going off. Whoa, look at them all go on this birthday. Happy birthday. Right. That'll be all for you, Mayor, now. Ciao!